Hi again, it's Janet. Welcome back to my home and my studio. I've had enough requests to continue my little tutorial about my brownie cameras here. So I'm going to show you how those little tabs and things work and um, how they relate to you shooting wet plate on this. So I think these little brownies are great for beginning wet plate work. One reason is the size of them. Because it's a smaller plate, you're not going to waste so much chemistry as you try to figure that out. So you don't want to watch all your dollar bills go right out the window. That's heartbreaking. Also, it's small, it's compact, it can go with you anywhere as long as you have your little traveling dark room and your chemistry with you. I can't really take that beast of mine around. And um, this is how you use it. So this on this side here, this is your shutter. This controls your f-stop on these little brownies. Um, the more deluxe versions of them have a small, medium, and large opening. Those are your choices. And this little tab right here, when you pull it up, it keeps the shutter open, which is perfect for that wet plate uh, work. So if I pull this up and then I flip this down, I think you can see it. See how it stays open? Until I want to close it. So this functions as the same thing as a bulb action on a um, manual or digital camera. There it is. Then if I want to adjust my aperture, I would, there's one, there's the next size, that's the smallest one, and then back down. Now what I would do in the dark room is I would pick out what aperture I want beforehand. I wouldn't mess with that once I'm exposing my plate. So I just have a couple of follow-up thoughts for you here. I usually get these on eBay. I don't pay more than $15 for them. They're fairly easy to find. Um, when you get it, it's going to be dirty. So you're going to have to clean off the glass spots here, the landscape one. You have to clean these off. I take a little cloth to the lens nice and carefully. Sometimes they have light leaks. The most common place for these little cardboard boxes to have light leaks are at the seams. So when I open it up, I'll take it into a dark room and shine a flashlight against it and take a look at it and see if there's any light leaks. And I fix it with duct tape. Nice, cheap, easy material there. Works perfectly. Sometimes when you get them, the shutter doesn't quite work. It doesn't matter. Put it on that bulb one, get it open permanently and then you can use that duct tape as a little lens cap just the same way I do with my big camera here same idea so that's why I think these are great for a beginner they're cheap $15 $10 in material maybe to fix it up to shoot what plate and you've got yourself a camera for $25 and you can try it out and see if you even like the process I think it's a good way to go I'll see you again, probably. I think we should cut some tin together and maybe some glass. Okay. Bye, everybody.